So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with Microsoft Excel. We're going to open up a blank workbook. So in column 1A or A1, I'm going to type in names. And in the rest of the rows, so A2, 3, 4, 5, etc., is where we're going to put the names. Um, and so, for instance, I'm going to type in here Daniel and Jessica. So, the way it works is row here, row 2, 3, 4, etc., are the number of invitations you will be giving to your guests so in a household let's say there are five people um, you wouldn't have the name set out like this Daniel oops Daniel Jessica Timothy etc because that would mean that in one household where you want them to have just one invitations, they will be getting three invitations or however many rows you have. Um, so we're going to delete all that and I hope that <laughs> makes sense. Um, so Daniel and Jessica are getting one invitation. Then all you need to do is just fill in the rest, which I have done ahead of time. And... I'm going to have six invitations. So I'm then going to save my workbook and name it Mail Merge Names. Click Save. And that is done now thing you're going to do is open up your invitation in Microsoft Word and I have left a space here for where I want my names to appear and I'm going to put a placeholder in first and call it names and the reason why I put a placeholder in is to make sure that the fonts and the point size and the boldness is what I'd like before I go ahead and run a mail merge. So I have Times New Roman, point size 11 and bold, which is perfect, it's what I'd like. And now to run the mail merge. So I'm going to come up here to mailings and select recipients and use an existing list. So this is now going to prompt me to find the spreadsheet that we just completed. There it is there. Mail merge names and open. So then the next thing I'm going to do is come down to my placeholder where I've typed in names and I'm just going to delete that. And then go up to insert merge field and find the names. Now, if you remember on the spreadsheet where column A and row 1, I typed in names, this is where it is matching up. So I'm going to click on names and down here is where it has placed it, which is perfect. That's where I want it to be. Now, if I just ran the mail merge just like this, this side here will have the mail merge and this side here will be blank. We can check this by going to preview results. See how the name changed here and this is stayed as names. That's how we know the mail merge is going to work. So if I click on preview results and go back, um, we will now be able to continue what we were doing. So if I come to this second invitation and delete the placeholder, I'm now going to go back to insert merge field and click on names. Now this is how we're going to get two different uh, names on the one sheet. I'm going to take my cursor and click in front of this little section here where it says names and I'm going to go up to rules and I'm going to choose next record. 
So now if I preview my results, I should get two different names, which I have. So Daniel and Jessica on this invitation and the Smith family on this invitation. Now I know just by doing that, that this mail merge will work. And you can also double check by coming up here and clicking on next record. It will show you the next pages and who are on those pages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this merge and I'm going to go to finish and merge and you can go to print document. It will actually print off everything that you have on the screen as you see it with all the names in the merge field. But what I like to do is I like to save the document so I can come back to it at a later stage and I click on edit individual documents. That will open up a new Word document and it also has my merge as well completed which is great at this point if you're wanting to just go ahead and print this off on your home printer um, you could do that but if you'd like to professionally print it and send it to a print shop you can't just send this word document because you've got a lot of artwork and you've got fonts that your printer may not have and so you won't get it looking exactly the same as you see it on screen now so what we do in that respect is we print it to PDF so we go up to a file print and then print PDF and save as PDF. Save that in our directory and then we will go back to our PDF and open that up. And there we have it, a mail merge PDF ready to go to a print shop and print off exactly as you see it in the document. All the mailing is there for all the different names. So that's how you complete an easy mail merge in Word. Um, if you found this helpful or you'd like me to do more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.